Hey there, this is Wake Angel 2001 in selfie mode, literally holding my video camera up. Oh, by the way, that's my 3D printer. I'm in the living room. Um, I am about to go see the Sonic the Hedgehog movie with my family today, and I am dressed for the occasion. Um, although, you know what? Let's, uh, <laughs> let's move. Yeah, check it out. My movie Sonic shirt. I got it off of the Sega shop last week. Um, yeah, it's funny though, because that is the redesigned Movie Sonic's face, but his shoes still have laces. I don't know what's up with that. Was there some weird transitional art that had, that still had the laced shoes? I don't know. But hey, official Movie Sonic shirt, so I'm representing. <laughs> okay, so we just finished watching the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. We're in the parking lot of the theater, and my mom is being very camera shy right now. <laughs> oh, there's my grandma. She just celebrated her 79th birthday earlier this week. Happy birthday, Ma. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so um, I don't want to say anything um, in here like just want to give a, a, a first impression. Um, no, no spoilers. We're not going to actually talk about any of the revelations in the movie. At least not here. I'll do a separate video for that. Um, and this vi this movie was really good, right? Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like um, a lot of people were expecting to just see Jim Carrey devour the scenery, and then like just some silly, crazy stuff happening around him. Um, but no, this is all just a legitimately good movie. Like, I really felt like they, they were adapting the material really well. And there was a lot of unexpected stuff in there, like, even I didn't see coming. Although, this has given me a new fan theory. Um, in the video games, Dr. Robotnik is always putting animals inside of his badniks, and you're wondering why does he do that? Well, um, I think I think that this movie might actually offer an explanation, but again, I don't really want to talk about that because to discuss that would be spoilers. Um, but yeah, this this movie was actually really great, right, guys? Yeah, Jim Carrey did an awesome job as Robotnik. Oh, yeah, and, and uh, like the, the, my only regrets is that maybe a couple of characters could have had some names, like uh, like Jim Carrey's sidekick was Agent Stone. Would have been cool if his name was Snively, <laughs> or or the main cop character whose name was Tim, if uh, if they if they had made if they had named him Sam instead, like uh, Sam Speed from the Sonic X anime. Um, also, a part of me really feels like they wanted Chris Pratt to play the part of Tim. Cause, or was no, his name was Tom, right? Tom. Tim. Tim was the name Only that Robotnik his called him. Calls him. He, Tim call, yes, his dentist calls him Tim, and it's too awkward to fix that. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> 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 that that that's an in joke from the movie. <laughs> um, anyone who's seen it would know that. Uh, but yeah, like um, what was I? What was I saying? Um, Sonic about X the and, names. Yeah, but. No, no, there was a, another thing. Um, the Sonic X anime, Sand Speed. Ah, uh, oh man, I, I realized. Oh yeah, Chris Pratt. Um, because uh, Sonic affectionately nicknames nicknames him the Donut Lord, and uh, there's a part where there's some raccoons rooting through his trash, and he calls them Trash Pandas. Mm -hmm. Like, that's Star Lord <laughs> stuff. <laughs> like the Something Lord calling raccoons trash pandas. Like they, they wanted Chris Pratt to play that role at one point. They wrote lines specifically re referencing Guardians of the Galaxy just for it. And when um, and apparently they couldn't get Chris Pratt to play the part, but they kept the lines in. I I just like doesn't, doesn't that really seem like what they did? It seems like what they did, it right? Was. <laughs> Maybe it was accidental. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. I mean, call, <laughs> calling a raccoon a trash panda, like I guess technically but like that's not really a very common term at least not to my knowledge i mean i think, where, where I you think all the actors were perfect oh yeah the actors were, no no <laughs> wonderfully acted oh, all great and there was this one character um um his wife's sister <laughs> like like so, oh we all hated her <laughs> like she she's a character that's just so hateable <laughs> that's why the movie is great she was <laughs> annoying yeah um, her daughter was a, was a was a delight though. 
N- like really nice little kid. Like, like there was a little kid in the, in the movie. Like, I am actually no surprised spoilers, that we Pete we Dan. have a little kid in the movie. She's and she does not pull focus for the entire thing. Like, like it's like whenever you have a child who appears in Sonic media, it's like now all of a sudden it's this kid's show with Sonic on the side. But no, we have a little girl in this movie. She she has a little sweet scene and we move on. She plays exactly the part that she has to. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> That's, mm-hmm. That's the source of the shoes. I mean, like, oh, oh no, we just spoiled the great origin of Sonic shoes. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, but yeah, this, this movie was actually pretty fantastic. Um, legitimately good. And uh, it does set up for a sequel, which everybody in the theater really wanted to see. Mm-hmm. And uh, stay through the credits. The end credits have uh, this cool thing where they do like a 16-bit sprite animation that sums up the movie. And uh, seeing the 16-bit Jim Carrey Robotnik is kind of awesome. So that's uh, that, that's a fun little thing to sit through. It, it actually really reminded me of an AMV I saw on YouTube because it was actually set to that song, um, um, So I Run. Uh, I don't know the name of it. I Run, I guess. It was awesome. Okay, so uh, this is a, really the first time I've tried shooting a video in the car. Does not mean I'm turning into a flat earther. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a proper <laughs> video later on.